What's up guys? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. And today's video, we're going to be watching this KVK as this past seven gets rallied. My name is Shinchi42. If you guys are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and turn your notification on. Um, by the way, in throughout this video, I may have some difficulty speaking and you know talking much faster than I am used to. Um, so basically what I'm saying is that I might slow down a little bit more in this video as it's still kind of challenging to speak a little bit, you know, uh, fast and try to catch my breath as I am recovering right now. Um, so in this um, KVK, as you can see, the ra uh, the pass is being attacked. And one of the big things you know, or big information in here is that once you're attacking or initiating the attack on a pass, um, the barbarian in the pass or the neutral unit um, the longer that you fight it, it's actually not good because it'll get into accumulative, um, you know, strength, and eventually it will just knock you out so quick, so quickly. I think it was like three hundred or three thousand seconds or something. I forgot what is the the skill for, but the longer it is, um, the worse it will get for you. So you will see this in this video <clears throat> as the you know the teams in here are going to be rallying this pass. So, um, so. Um, basically one of the, you know, strategies that people do in here, they initiate the attack so that when the rally hits, it's going to be quick, but this seems like they took a little bit much longer time. And we're going to also see that, you know, pretty much both teams are going to be rallying this and they're not really going to succeed per se. And, um, I don't really know, you know, what is the end result of this KVK? So if you guys are actually part of this KVK, um, we would definitely love to know who is currently winning. Um, for what I know, I heard like the Earth camp is actually uh, winning. Um, I forgot if it was Earth and Water who was actually teaming up with each other. Um, but during this, we did see that there were rallies going inside to the pass, going up to the north here. So I, I do think that they are the one in the in charge of winning into this KVK. So um, you can see that there's multiple, um, you know, multiple uh, commanders in here. There's a Richard and is that a Joan of Arc? It's very interesting. And there's an Edward and Tamiris, um, you know, um, you know, initiating in here. And then the rally, uh, the rally we are going to get to see here relatively quickly enough. Uh, but I do think that they took their time a little bit way too long into the battles in here. Um, I, I I don't think that this was very very good approach to them. Um, honestly, even the the lower side in here that they did a launch a rally, they both failed. So fast forward into it, <clears throat> you can see that there is now a Xiangyu Xiangyu rally. And it's, I guess it's Xiangyu Minamoto on the bottom side. And I forgot what, I guess they're both using a Xiangyu Minamoto. And you can see there's, there it is. You can look into the pass, you know, huge healing coming into the pass as well. And huge damages being dished out there. So, ooh, look at that, right? So the longer that you, you know, have that battle, you're not going to really succeed into that. I don't think I've ever seen an alliance succeed on look at that those people are just you know trying to swarm it um absolutely wrong because once you just hit it you're just pretty much dead you know on that outcome so don't do what they're doing in here for both teams in here okay whatever it is it's not the best approach all right so in this segment i think the north was able to capture the pass and I think this is a defense from the north. They're using a Jadwiga. I forgot what is a secondary. We actually have battle reports that we are going to be looking into as well on how that performed in this battle. Um, but the bottom camp in here, they are using a Pekal and Herald, as you can see. So it is definitely a very intense matchup in here. You can see there's so many troops coming in, flooding into that you know, fighting area, and I love it because there's, you know, great activity for both teams in here, um, so a truly amazing um, battle in here, um, but the, the thing that I am really concerned about is that the team is actually defending with a Jadwiga against a uh, Pakal and a Herald, 
um, you know, just based on looking into this, you know, um, uh, battle, um, I could I could hundred percent suspect, or you can you can analyze it if you want that this type of battle um, will definitely not be in the favor of the Jadwiga. And I believe I looked into the battle report, right? Um, come on, it's Cavs going against you know um, infantry. Uh, honestly, if they knew that they were going to be receiving a lot of like, um, you know, the rallies that are going to be Pakal and Herald, I think at this stage of the pass, um, players should have been aware already in order to have done a much better result in here. In my opinion, I think, you know, um, using archers as a defense would have been a really good option. Um, putting like a Manator Artemisia into the pass would have been a much better defender than using a Jadwiga and whatever the secondary is, which I haven't really paid paying attention to what the secondary is, but we're gonna be looking at it. Um I think it's I think it's YSS. Yeah it's YSS. Um we're gonna be looking at it in the battle report here as well. But clearly I'm you know um blood out telling you right now don't do something like this since majority of people are actually still doing a Pakal and Herald rally. If you're doing a Jadwiga, it's not really that good of a defense. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. Oh man, I'm um, editing this video. is kind of tough and trying to commentate for this one. I'm telling you guys, it's so hard in here. Like trying to get all these breath and then speaking. Um, hopefully you guys appreciate this. Smash a like if you guys do. Um, as you guys can see that this is an Attila and Takeda. Is it Attila and Takeda rally? Yeah. And good defense in here, you know, bad approach into the rally, but you know, you have to make these rallies, right? You have to make these calls, but doing this rally, they're way too deep into the past. There's no reinforcement. What they should have done is um, launched a mur murder ball going in, but or launch multiple rallies and break it. And then they'll have, um, you know, slight, you know, reinforcement here um, into this one. But again, that's challenging because trying to find some barbed forts to rally is also difficult. Um, as you can see, that Attila and Takeda was just swarmed down and it was destroyed and they were able to defend that area. But um, I'm not sure what is the end result for this KVK. I mean, a little bit in here, I'll try to show some of the battle reports um, as we're done looking at these two battles in here. Um, here's another report uh, or, or another battle. Um, to which a base is being defended by a Nebuchadnezzar, which I'm not sure entirely why it was being defended by a Neb. I'm sure that the player has another or a much better defender in here, though, but this is totally getting annihilated by the Attila and Takeda rally in here. So um, I can only suspect that this player have taken a lot of beating in here, and I don't know what this person is doing, like swarming it by himself, like that was not really good. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, pretty much what we get to see here in, in this KVK. Um, we are going to be looking into here as Dindin shared us some reports in here. And thank you for Dindin for sending us these, um, area to look at and, um, you know, check this KVK out and, uh, all right, let's get into it. So here is the battle report with Dindin, um, or Dindin. Um, as you can see, the RK Farlight is the, um, Pakal rally in here. Good reinforcement to, um, to this coalition. And as you can see, there is two major battles in here that occurred, uh, um, the switch. So as you can see, there's was a Jadwiga in Yusun Sin, as I've mentioned earlier, I don't think it's going to be really good result. And as you can see what my, you know, assessment was actually very correct. Um, let's take a look into the buff and what, you know, they are using for support skills in here. All right. All right. So those are the buff and support skill that they're using. And let's take a look into what units they were using in here for the defense, because we know that this is going to be mainly infantry or literally only infantry. And as you can see in here, there's a calves, bunch of infantry, calves, infantry, infantry, calves, infantry, archer, um, Cavs, cabs, 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 cabs. But I feel like they should have just done with like the Zenobia. Um, I think that would have been a much better approach into that one. And what in the heck is this picture? This is very interesting. Um, I do think, you know, the archer defense would have done really well. Would have hold this pass, honestly. Um, let's take a look into this battle report in here. As you can see, huge loss in here. They did a switch of a con 
Cao Cao defense into the pass, and I don't think they probably intended to do that. It might have been when the garrison captain have left. Um, one of the biggest issue there is that communication. They might have had a failed communication with this one because you know before you leave as a captain, you must assign a captain prior to departing the structure that you are defending. So that's just pretty much it that we have here going on with this battle report. Um, we're going to make more videos, um, of course, but I am just taking my time to recover. So if you guys wouldn't mind, if you guys are bored and you haven't seen other videos in our channel, we have plenty of videos for you guys to catch up with. So do check it out. And uh, that kind of supports the channel as well. If you guys would appreciate it while well, I could not make new uh, new contents right now because, you know, it's just you know into the recovery mode. Um, um, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And anyway, I will see you guys again next time.